Hello, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the press conference with uh, Hansi Flick. Uh, name and the media, please, before every question. Hello, Hansi. Good evening. TDT Catalonia Radio. Today has been the last uh, game before the most uh, demanding match of the season. How do you face? Uh, how does uh, the team face uh, a game such as the game against Bayern de Munich and the game against Real Madrid? Every match is important. It's not only not only uh, the big big uh, what it seems the big uh, clubs uh, play against them. No, also this Sevilla, and it's also very important <coughs> after the national break to come back with a victory. And this was uh, today really good. The players did it well, and uh, yeah, we are happy for for this result. Also for this result, happy uh, about Gavi that he's back. It's it's really amazing, and and when you when you see um, the atmosphere in the stadium, the fans were here, and and um, it was really it was it was really I would say goosebumps like that, uh, unbelievable, and and I like this. Hola, Hansi. Hello, Hansi. Marta Ramon, Al Barça juga Raku. I wanted to ask you beyond the game. I wanted to ask you about the initial lineup and uh, Eric Garcia, which uh, who who felt uncomfortable. And I wanted to ask you, will he play next game and why? Uh, Frankie De Jong uh, couldn't play finally. We also thought that uh, Frankie start or today, but um, but also Frankie was a little bit uh, feels a little bit discomfort um, on Friday, and uh, so we, we decided yesterday that that he just train train um, separately. Today was much better, uh, but uh, to start it was was not an option, and um, so and when the the game is running, so you have to decide what is now the next step. And, and for us, it was uh, very important to bring Gavi in. And I, I think it was uh, for him, but also for the team, very good uh, that he played uh, 10 minutes or like that, around about 10 minutes. And I think Eric, yeah, also Eric was, he has some problems, uh, but it was, I think it's not, not so bad. So hopefully, he will also be an option on, on Wednesday. <coughs> Mister, hola, buenas noches. Hola. Adrián. Hello, good evening. Uh, live for Carousel, Cadena Ser. Gabi today went to the field with this level of intensity, as usual. Such an energy, brutal energy. To what extent it was difficult for you, mister, to stop him when he wanted to come back? Was it very difficult to say him no, to break Gabi and to stop him to come back? I think I think um, today Sevilla. I think this was his goal uh, to to really to to be on the bench against Sevilla and maybe if it's possible to to play five minutes. Uh, it was his dream, and it comes true. So it, it's uh, I think we are all happy. I think you are happy that that he's back. The, the fans are happy. The club is happy. The players and and you you can see how yeah uh, about his um, position. In the team, it's 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 really good, and and um, of course, um, also today, uh, the intensity he gave uh, to in the match or to the match when he came in, it was was good. But it, it's normal. It's normal. It's his way to to play, and and uh, I think it's not. Um, sometimes it's it's okay to be more calm, but um, it's not his his style to play. Hola, Hansi. <laughs> Hello, Hansi, Elena Condis, uh, COPE Radio. Today, Lewandowski, two goals. As a result of a hat-trick against Hurricane against the Stuttgart, right? Wednesday, the two players, very good shape, great performance. What a problem. It's going to be a battle, Lewandowski and Hurricane, next Wednesday. 
it's never a battle about players. It's a battle about team. So it's a battle about Barcelona and, and Bayern Munich. So, <clears throat> and and for me, it's very important. I, I'm I'm really happy that that uh, Robert uh, scored the goals. It, it's important for us. But also, you have to see um, he's he's well connected with, with the other players. And and this is for me, this is for me uh, how a, a team has to work. And and um, I'm really happy about that. And and um, so. We, yeah, we, we now, I think we can also celebrate a little bit this, this result, this victory. But uh, tomorrow um, we start um, yeah, to prepare the, the team for the match against Bayern. Buenas noches, Mr. Alfredo Martínez. Good evening, Alfredo Martínez, live for Adiftel Onda Zero. The team is leader, the key week, the most important week. Is it ready? The level that we will see together with Olmo, De Jong and Fermin, also Gavi as well for this decisive week, are they ready? What do you think? Are they ready? Huh? You don't know? It's always, it's, 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 they are ready, they, they will be ready. And, and this is, you know, this is uh, for me, the important thing is, uh, our job is, to prepare well for, for the next match. If it's Bayern Munich, if it's Getafe, is it Real Madrid, doesn't matter. And we will do that. And, and I think the team has the quality to be ready. And we never know what, what uh, at the end what the result is. But <clears throat> what I can say is that the team will give 100% every match, every, uh, every minute. And, and this is for, for us important. At the end, what happens, we don't know, but um, they will be ready. Hola, Mister. Hello, good evening. Congratulations for the victory. I'd like to ask you something. The style of game they have, the way they play, how the offside is important, right? And how do they do? And the way they play, the two, uh, Kubasi and Inigo Mantinez, they play a key role. Absolutely. Um, on the side, uh, the Spiran guy in Ini is um, also, I think, um, he adapt this, how, how we want to play. He, um, he do, he's doing really great and, and also he's an absolutely leader of the team. And uh, it helps us a lot. So, uh, but also in, in the, the, the back four, it's uh, Jules Koundé or, or Balde, also um, doing really great. Uh, but at the end, it's also very important that, that not only they are doing this job, but also the other players doing job. And, and when we press very high, uh, it's, well, when, we, when we play like this, it's important that we can press um, the opponent with the ball. So, and if it's, if it's good, then we, are, we are, have no, what say, yeah, it, it, it's, it doesn't matter. So, so we, need, um, we need the pressure on the ball. This is very important. And, uh, you can see the goal, how it, how it, uh, the four-one. This is we have to, we have to interrupt this. We have to take pressure on the, on the, on the ball, and at the end also to, um, yeah, to, to save the, the back, so the, the room or be, uh, the space be behind the last four. This is very important, and um, I don't like uh, that we, we get a goal, uh, but. Um, it's good, good to have this. We analyze that, and, and uh, hopefully we do it better, much better, because we need it um, against Bayern and also against Real. Raúl. Hola, <coughs> Hello, Hansi. This is Raúl Fuentes from Radio Marca Live. I'd like to ask you: When you came last summer in uh, Barça, did you think that this time of the season you will have the team that you have? So united, the goals that they score, uh, 27 points uh, amongst 30 in the Spanish league, or maybe you thought that it would be more difficult. No, oh, it's uh, when you arrive, you you always think. Uh, I I always think positive, and uh, but at the end, it's it's um, I would say it's a project, and and um, when we start with a. Uh, with the players from the Masia, because a lot of players were, were with the national teams, uh, the Euro, or, and um, it feels really good. It feels really good because also the young players are doing great. So, um, and when the, the players came back, it was the same. And, and I think this is 
this is an important thing that um, that you have a good feeling and, and you step by step. I think uh, the players get the confidence to to um, to play how we want to play, uh, to do it on on the pitch and and um, yeah. At the end, we have the quality. It's it's uh, where you can see it and. And uh, we are really happy that the players are coming back now. So uh, the Gavi is coming back, Frankie will be there, Danny, um, Fermin also. And, um, and at the end, we have also other players um, who, who work hard to, to come back maybe in the next two or three months. I, I don't know, maybe earlier. We will see. But, but when we are uh, complete, it's an unbelievable team. Sí, Hansi, y aquí. Uh... Hello, Hansi. Le he preguntado, de fet, para Pau Cubarsí, que nos parla tan... Paul Ballús, uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, Pau Cubarsí. He missed uh, no passes uh, during the first half, uh, the pressure of your team. I want to ask you, having a player like uh, him, how does it help you so the pressure of the rival is not that effective? smart he he, uh, he adapt uh, uh, the, the opponent uh, the pass and everything and, and he's really also um, in a one, one against one situation really very very good and and it helps us a lot and he's clever he's a clever player with the ball and also without the ball um, and and this helps us a lot Jordi Hola, night, Jordi. good evening Jordi Blanco for the victory. FC Barcelona is the third uh, team that scored more goals in the Spanish league. The game then has to play from now onwards in uh, Bayern and uh, Clásico in Madrid, mainly in uh, Madrid as a home, will provoke you to uh, be with the ideas that you always have in mind, or maybe you will adapt the potential that the rival has. It's, it's, uh, we, we have our philosophy, our idea, how we want to play. And um, so, and every match is, is different. And, and also, every opponent um, has his strengths and, and the weakness, and, and uh, we adapt this. And so, is the match plan, it's, 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 uh, it could be also different and um, have nothing to do, um, or has to have something to do how we want to, to press or how we want to. To keep the ball, um, how we we see where the opponent gives us the spaces, and um, this is for us the key. And, and uh, so it could be also that we that we change something in, in our in our match plan, and uh, but it's not so much. Mary Carmen. Hola, ti, buena nit, Mary Carmen Hola. Torres del. I'd like to know, Frankie De Jong. The injuries and the troubles. Isn't the uncle, or there is another injury? How do you see himself? What the mood he has? Lesion. Okay, sorry about that. I start too early. Um, no, it's no, it's no injury. He also uh, was able to play today, but but we decide uh, to bring uh, Gavi instead of him, and, and uh, so we made a, we made four chances uh, before. Uh, and um, so, so we, we, we decided uh, to bring Gavi because uh, I think it was a, a good decision. But, but Frankie is able to play today and also on, on Wednesday. Hola, Hansi. Uh, congratulations on the win again. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Anso. How have you seen him and how important for him it was to be again uh, in the starter eleven? Thanks. Yeah, I think for, for every player it's good to, to be in the starting eleven. Every player um, wants to, to start. Uh, but I think for him, as a long time that, that um, with the injuries and not, uh, he has really um, not an easy, easy time. Uh, I think he is coming back. Also, I also think that that he has uh, potential to to uh, that he has to, he can increase. Uh, but we help him. ¿Qué tal? Hamsi. Para el día del Barça. Yo te quería preguntar. 
I'd like to ask you about Paulo Torre, Tim. He was in the field, in the pitch. What's the role that you expect for Gavi, Fermin, and Olmo? What do you expect for Pablo Torre on a short-term perspective? We, Pablo can also play on a number seven, so it's, uh, we changed it for, for Lamin. And um, you, he's, he's good with the ball, and, and you, you also can see his, uh, he has a good shoot. And um, he scored two goals. It's it's uh, it, it's great. Um, he showed his strengths today, and this is very important also for him for for his confidence and also for for us for it for our team.